Perhaps now more than ever, checking in with old friends, even if it's not in person, can feel pretty good. So that's exactly what Boyd Hooper has been doing for his land of 10,000 stories. Odds are you'll remember Jonah Larson, if not for his name, then certainly for his passion. First, Jonah's story from January of 2019, and then our virtual check-in. In this corner house in La Crosse, Wisconsin, a grandfather clock gives beat to many a grandmother's craft. I turned 11 on January 5th, Saturday. Jonah Larson has two grandmothers. Yep. They just don't crochet five hours a day. Mm -hmm. Jennifer Larson is Jonah's mom. Been doing it for half my life. Sometimes he gets up early before I even get up and he's at the table crocheting at like six in the morning. Morning and night. I'm, I'm going to sleep now, mom, but underneath that cover, there's his crochet hooks and a, a, a flashlight. A light first lit. <laughs> when Jonah discovered in a bag of discarded craft items, his aunt's crochet hook, which led him to YouTube. Found basic stitch video and from there on I was hooked. Hooked. Seriously? He made a dishcloth for his first project, and he made it perfectly. That's the first hat Jonah made. He was five. Here's a personal favorite. It's my sunset afghan with a border I made. He's a crochet prodigy. It's a Scandinavian throw. I think you were about eight when you made that one. Jonah's mom posted the first of several of his projects on Instagram. It was a, a afghan he made of 800 flowers. He was probably seven at the time. You had that group that was absolutely fascinated, then you had the doubters. What? You gotta be kidding me. There's no way that kid did that. Hi fellow crocheters. Today in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make these adorable baby shoes. Today, Jonah has thousands of social media followers. His own catchphrase. Goodbye and crochet away. And a cowl neck trend he started by crocheting one for his mom. Thousands of people started making it and they just referred to it as the Jonah cowl. Jonah also gets fan mail. Living Minnesota. Mail and gifts from around the world. Dear Jonah, you are an inspiration to so many people. These are some nice colors. One day I came home and there was five boxes about this size on our porch. I do have a picture of that. Once we um, dumped all that urine out, Jonah's sitting in the middle of it. But the kid who may as well have a thousand out-of-town grandmas started his life alone. Yeah. That's Jonah at the orphanage in Ethiopia after he was abandoned as a newborn by his mother. There was a really high possibility he would have some cognitive delay. He was very sick, he was malnourished. Yeah, lucked out. Jonah, adopted by the Larsons at five months. A uh, baby Afghan. Now has in his grasp his own slice of the American dream. My family, my two dogs, and Crocheting. Jonah's favorite time? Crocheting with his mom close by. Mm -hmm. Keeping tabs on the hundreds of orders for his work. A yarn company sponsorship offer. Text him real quick. And an upcoming national talk show appearance. We would fly you and Jonah in on the 30th. All while mastering advanced ninth grade algebra in the sixth grade with bigger plans ahead. I'm planning on attending West Point to the academy and then becoming a surgeon. A surgeon. This is kind of helping me prep for that. Dr. Jonah Larson's patience will be in good hands. Well, when you only have a short time, you got to make the most of it. That's true. It's been a couple of winters since that story aired. Jonah's first TV appearance, followed by many more nationally and internationally. But like the rest of us, he's home now. So we thought, what a great time to check in. Jonah, how are you? I am wonderful today, how are you? I'm super. I see your hands are still busy. Yes, I'm always crocheting or knitting, always keeping my hands busy with yarn. What do you have going today? Today I'm actually working on a pair of baby booties and I'm also going to be crocheting some masks. I actually have one here. It has two different layers with cotton, so it's very washable. And then it has a pocket for a surgical mask filter, so you have three layers of filtration. Right now, it's just a really important time that everyone stays home and social distances. And so I decided to help spread that message. During stay at home, he's been doing some tutorials? Yes. 
And mom's the one that tapes them. <laughs> Hello, crochet friends. It's me, Joan. And I've also been working on my second book. I have a cover right here. It's all patterns that have to do with giving back their has for homeless people or for people that are going through chemotherapy or soap sacks for veterans. Tell me about your first book. It's called Hello Crochet Friends. So I have been going on book tours. Just need the one. <laughs> you were the first TV story that, has, that I had ever done. Since then, I've been on the new NBC Little Big Shots of Melissa McCarthy. How about that, right? I've gone on the Kelly Clarkson Show, the Today Show. I heard she adopted, so I made a li some baby booties for her. Oh, you have a project that's very near and dear to your heart. It's always been my dream, because I love to build a library for the kids in Ethiopia where I was adopted from not even nine months later I have there's a library in Ethiopia with my name on it for those kids we love our library we love you Miss McCarthy surprised me with a video thank you Joanne I just started weeping my mom was weeping the whole audience was weeping he still seems like the same Jonah humble and kind he is the same Jonah can you do me one favor can you give us your sign off here we go. Crochet away, friends. <laughs> Thanks, Jonah. We hope you're enjoying these check-ins. We'll be back next Sunday night with another from the land of 10,000 stories. Hmm. Been a busy year for John. I can't yes. believe what I just saw. I didn't get either. He I, built a library. And it, I, I'm 35 and it makes me feel like I've done nothing with my life in comparison. You know, none of it surprises me though. What a special person. And to think Absolutely. that he learned it all, from YouTube, right? You know, how, these, how that changes the world if you just have an interest. Yeah, and a passion, right. you know, there. And it definitely seems that uh, Jonah's got that going for him. Fantastic. Uh.